When I was 10 years old, I remember the comet Hale-Bopp flying over my house and how beautiful that scene looked for a number of weeks. Whether you own a telescope or don't, whether you're into astronomy or not, it's all over the news whenever a comet's coming through the solar system that could be an impressive sight. Right now, that is Comet Atlas, and the projections for this are looking incredible. Tonight, we're going to take a look at what you need to see this object and how you can find it in the nighttime sky in April and May of this year for what could be some incredible observing opportunities. Let's take a look at where Comet Atlas is. As we load up Sky Safari, we're facing west and we're going to move right after sunset to around 10 p.m. Now at this point in early and mid-April, as we move up towards the constellation Kamala Partilis, you're going to be needing binoculars and a telescope to view Atlas. But as we get from mid-April to late April, that is possibly going to change if this comet holds together. You can see here just how quickly it is moving through the night sky as it gets closer and closer to our sun, with it becoming brighter and the tail becoming more magnificent throughout April and mid-May. We are possibly going to get to the point here where you could see this object with the naked eye. Its closest approach to Earth is going to be on May 23rd. And if we look at how this is right after sunset, it is going to be a phenomenal sight where you have the comet Atlas, a new moon, Venus, and Mercury all placed together in the sky. This will be one of those moments that people will remember for decades. You won't need binoculars, you won't need a telescope. This will be a phenomenal view for us at the end of May, right after sunset. If you've been able to see Comet Atlas in the nighttime sky, I would love to hear how your experience was at finding it and what you thought of the object once you saw it. Please let me know in the comments section below. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to subscribe to Late Night Astronomy.